I wish you could see what I see as I look out from this stage. Each of you, the faces of the Union for Reform Judaism, bringing a commitment, a passion, a creativity, and a love to our congregations and our community. Each of us has a story, a journey that has brought us to this precise moment. And that tapestry of experiences is a source of beauty and strength. Together, they are our reform Jewish stories. Tonight, we begin our stories with Sheldon Cole from Vancouver, Canada's Temple Shalom. All right, Temple Shalom. Like many of you, Sheldon came to be deeply involved in his congregation after many years away. Like many of you, Sheldon is a member of his synagogue's board. And like many of you, Sheldon finds tremendous strength, comfort, and inspiration in his Reform Jewish life. This is his Reform Jewish story. So, how did I get here at this podium today? I grew up in a secular Jewish home. No bar mitzvah, no Hebrew school, no, and other than my wedding, no synagogue. My father was pro-social justice and staunchly secular. I myself had no interest in being a member of any congregation. However, in the 80s, we joined Temple Shalom for a few years so our kids, Randy and Oli, could become bar and bat mitzvah. After we left, my wife made me promise that if she ever felt the need to belong again, I would not resist. Thirty years later, she felt the need. So she approached me, expecting resistance. But something strange was happening with me. I was thinking the same thing. She was stunned, and so was I. We both felt a need for community in our aging years, so we rejoined Temple Shalom. I remember meeting with Rabbi Dan. I warned him that I didn't think I could contribute on religious matters, having neither faith nor experience. He just smiled warmly, as though he knew something about me that I didn't yet. Later that year, I stood as the ark was opened during high holiday services. I gazed into the brightness and beauty of the dressed Torahs, and I gasped. I stood there with tears running down my face, utterly confused. My wife thought I was in medical distress. <laughs> I wasn't, but I was profoundly moved. It was an epiphany of sorts. I realized in that moment Judaism has an intrinsic value I never before understood. Those scrolls presented to me a gift-wrapped oxymoron I could not resist. I started to question everything through a new lens, Judaism. Where did it apply? How did it apply? Why did it apply? And then in 2015, Temple Shalom decided to sponsor two Syrian refugee families to Vancouver, both Kurdish Muslims. A synagogue bringing Muslim families to, Van to Canada, the endeavor had an irresistible contradiction. I signed on. For the next three years, over 100 temple members volunteered their time, skills, and resources, which met the sponsorship requirements for the two families. We've be become extremely close with both families, and they've become part of our extended family. I'm now more involved than I ever thought possible. Call it religious, call it spiritual, call it Meshuggah. <laughs> Contributing my time and energy for the betterment of others in a reform synagogue environment works for me. Judaism, how does it apply? Where does it apply? Why does it apply? It starts within, and I'm now happy to explore. I found my place at Temple Shalom, Shalom but regarding Judaism, the story continues. Thank you. Please welcome the President of the Central Conference of American Rabbis, Rabbi Ron Siegel. 